Okay guys, what's up? Got a really weird schedule today, so I'm going to squeeze in a pole session right now, which is like 8.30 a.m. Not my typical time to train, but So we're going to do a pull session today. Um, I kind of busted up my shoulder a little bit on Sunday playing around with ring muscle ups and ring dips. So that was stupid, but I took, uh, I took Monday and Tuesday off from lifting, just focused on like some rehab stuff, resting, getting in the sauna. And then yesterday I did legs here at home, which I did not record. I was working out with my wife and uh, again, got in the sauna. I'm trying to sauna every day this week to help, well, help heal that shoulder. That's really should work. So just do a quick warm up here. Some band pulls or band pull aparts. Kettlebell halo is really great movement to loosen up the shoulders. And I'm gonna do a uh, cable crunch here. I always like to throw in one or two sets of abs in my warm-up, just because otherwise I won't do abs. I'm not gonna do a whole separate day of abs because I think ab circuits are kind of silly for most people. And uh, I want to treat abs with a kind of strength approach like I would treat any other muscle group or any other exercise. But since I do them relatively frequently, three to five days a week. I just throw in one set on the warm up typically, sometimes two. But we're gonna try the, I like cable crunches. Haven't really played around with it on this particular, my own cable machine. So let's see how it feels. So it felt pretty good. Um, work out some kinks with that seat being there. So got yeah, just kind of the headspace a little bit. But anyway, like I said, we're gonna hit a quick pull session today. I'm gonna do two sets per exercise. I'll start out with some pull-ups, then I'll go into rows. And we'll do our incline dumbbell curls, and then I'll do some, I'm gonna really be prioritizing, or maybe not prioritizing, but uh, doing, for a change, rear delt isolation work, which I usually don't do. I've often said that you don't need direct work for the rear delts if you are doing your pull-ups or pull-downs and you're doing your rows of some sort. Uh, but like most things, once you get injured, you start realizing, you know, maybe I could use some rear delt isolation. So I'll start throwing these in, rear delt flies on my pull days, since it is more of a pull pattern. And then uh, I'll keep my other shoulder exercises, of course, on my push day. So yeah, four exercises, two sets a piece, so just eight total sets. I'll do a warm up set for the first three exercises. I probably won't need a warm up for my uh, rear delt fly, but we're just gonna get after it. That guy head back to work. All right. Oh, got some chalk on the phone. Oh well, we'll take care of that later. So this should we'll do a little warm up set, just body weight, and then get to our uh, 
but we'll see how I'm feeling, how the shoulder's feeling. I'd like to do some weighted dip, uh, pull ups today. So, just do a few reps here. All right, second set of rows coming up. Opted for single arm dumbbell rows, old faithful. So got 12 reps each side on the first set. So we'll see how this set goes. I'll be perfectly content if I get nine or 10. Um, so yeah, usually on any unilateral, unilateral exercise, unilateral single arm, single leg, I typically take um, at least one minute between each side. So I kind of treat each side as its own set. So I'll do left arm rows and I'll rest anywhere from one to two minutes. That's usually enough for upper body stuff like this. And I'll do right arm rows. Um, and then we'll get ready for our incline dumbbell throws. So, so far shoulder feeling okay as I suspected it would on the uh, pull day. So I don't think it's too bad. I think I'll be probably back to ops normal within a week or two. We'll see how our push session goes in a couple days though. Could have gone for 12, a little bit of half rep though, so we'll save it for next, next session. So 11 reps, we'll match it on the right now. Okay, so that's about a minute, minute and a half. Get ready for the right side here. Got to match 11. We got it. Time for curls. Okay, second and final set of incline dumbbell curls here. Keeping the weight a little bit lighter today. Not pushing quite as hard. Just kind of getting them in. Uh, again, next week or so, I'll be taking a little bit easy on movements around the shoulder just to kind of be cautious. But uh, yeah, we're just going to. Get these in here. We got nine on the first set. We'll see what we get here. Six to eight would be great. Feel a little bit of that stretch in that front delt here where I kind of digged myself. So don't want to do something stupid and hurt it during curls or impact the recovery during curls. Let's just finish out with some incline dumbbell, uh, or sorry, chest supported 
rear delt flies. It's a movement I haven't done a lot of, so next few weeks I'll be kind of hashing out the technique on the rear delt flies. But going to keep it super light today. Really try to not let the traps get involved at all, which means my range of motion is going to be pretty, pretty minimal. So I'm just going to use a couple of tents today. Really just try to learn to keep those traps out of the movement and get that tiny sliver of rear delt muscle here. So then we'll be all set for the workout today. All right, final set of the session. Rear, rear delt flies. Big things keeping your scapula down and back on these. Otherwise, the traps are going to want to get involved. And if I come too far like this, that's all lower traps. So I'm keeping my range of motion pretty low until I build up stronger, more controlled, you know, activated rear delts. That's a workout, should be exactly 30 minutes or close to. Um, I'll share the details in the caption below. You guys will notice I can never talk right after I finish a session. I need some glycogen or something like that. All right, so in the next video, I'll see y'all. Hope you appreciate it. Let me know what you think. If any of you are physical therapists or anything and uh, have a really good understanding of like rear delt activation, stuff like that, and you see something I'm doing wrong, please feel free to call me out. Um, again, I've kind of ignored rear delt isolation for a long time, and this recent injury, you know, niggle, not so much an injury, just a little small setback has really made me think and reconsider it. All right.